You know, the one other one that I've, I've, I've been looking at a lot more have been the uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, and, uh, and while I'm skeptical of, of most of them, uh, I, I do think people are, are, um, are a little bit, uh, are maybe, maybe underestimating Bitcoin uh, specifically, because it is like, it's like a reserve form of money, it's like gold, and it's just a store of value. You don't actually need to use, to use it to make payments. And it's been, you know, it's, there's about $70 billion worth of Bitcoin in the world. There's $9 trillion worth of gold. And, um, and if Bitcoin ends up being the cyber equivalent of gold, you know, it has a, it has a, it has a great potential left. So that's, and it's a, it's a very different kind of thing from what people in, Sil Sil people in Silicon Valley normally focus on companies, not, you know, algorithms or protocols. But uh, this may be this may be uh, one exception that's uh, that's very underestimated. Well, people question it, and I know there's been so much debate about Bitcoin, but they question it because what is it based on? I mean, you see that the dollar is based on you know the the trust of the Treasury, the trust of the U.S. government. What is Bitcoin based on? Well, the the argument it's it's based on the um, on the security of the math, which tells you that it can never be um, it can never be diluted by a government. Um, it can never be it can't be hacked. Um, and it's a form of money that's absolutely uh, that's secure in an absolute way. Um, and uh, of course, you could ask the same question about gold. That's why I use the gold analogy. You could say, what, what is gold based that's on? True. Why is gold yeah. valuable? Well, it's a, it's a tangible asset, though. Gold. It's a tangible asset, but it's also hard to mine. So if it was easy to mine gold, then it wouldn't be that valuable because we would just have way more gold. So Bitcoin is also um, it's, it's it's mineable like gold. It's hard to mine. It's, it's actually harder to mine than gold, and so in that sense, um, it's, it's more constrained. And so, yeah, there, there are a number of things that I think make it somewhat similar to gold. And then the question is just, does this become, does this become um, more widely? And, and it's anonymous, widely. right? I mean, that's one of the, the beauties of it. You it's, can be anonymous using Bitcoin. Yeah, it's, it's half anonymous, half not. So it's, it's, again, this intermediate thing. There's a question whether that's right or not, but it's, it's a bearer instrument. So if you, if you have the Bitcoin, if you know the key, you can you can go anywhere. Most of the time, um, most securities are registered, not bearer securities. So it's a very unusual kind of a security. Peter Thiel, thanks so much for your insights awesome. today. Thank you. Great. You heard it, unbelievers. You heard it. That's Peter Thiel right there, man. That's 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 one of the smartest motherfuckers I know. He is telling you right in your face. There's something here. This man invested in. Oh, he co-founded PayPal back in the day. Then he was an early investor in Facebook. And then, what else? He co-founded Palantir. And then he founded, found, uh, he co-founded Fa Founders Fund, one of the coolest venture capital firms out there in, uh, in Silicon Valley. Uh, so you know how aggressive and how bullish Peter Thiel is on technology, bro. So if you're like, oh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, you know, you, you just think it's kind of like a, a frenzy thing going on here? You're gonna miss out on the gains, baby. Look at the 17K today already. 17K. By the way, Litecoin, Litecoin is pumping. And my favorite coin, Neo, has been pumping so hard. What else is pumping? Oh uh, yeah, BNB, BNB, Binance, man. I just bought into Binance like two weeks ago. And look at that now. Look at me now. I'm making paper just like that, baby. Now I have over, oh man. This crypto game is awesome, man. You don't, uh, don't undervalue these fucking cryptocurrencies. One that I might actually, uh, I'm looking at here is um, Basic Attention Token, B-A-T, guys. Get that shit, trust me. Peter Thiel, uh, his fund, actually, his venture capital firm invested in that little uh, funky baby. Uh, basic Attention Token is really cheap right now. Nobody really talks about it. It was founded by the same guy who created javascript and co-founded mozilla firefox so you see th these are the type of projects that i personally like to invest in uh, oh and it's up today by 22 oh my gosh man i feel like a crazy cool investor today oh, i'll see you guys later but look at that ain't gotta say nothing this shit is pumping so hard guys this shit is pumping believe in crypto give yourself some coin don't miss out on the baby, man. Don't miss out on the la, la. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna finish that. We're going to the moon. I'll see you guys on the next one.